how much does it cost a relatively new and sizable freehold house in York Region? Hi, my name is Priscilla. I'm your real estate broker in GTA. My client is a young woman. We already searched for houses in Richmond Hill and Vaughan. We also participated in various bidding wars, but due to the tough competition,、um, we haven't won it yet. Today, we're going to see a house in Patterson, Vaughan. Before looking at the property, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my weekly real estate knowledge sharing and some of the wonderful virtual tours. See you later. Let's take a look at the neighborhood. We are in Vaughan. This community is very quiet. I just saw children playing on the street. There is a main road nearby, but we are still quite far from it, so it's hardly noticeable. Let's get inside the property. There is a corridor. On the right side, there is a basement. We will look at it later. This room is a little bit dark, but it's partially because the curtains are half down. It's a semi-detached home, so this side of the house is shared with the neighbor. No windows there. This combined family room and living room is pretty big. It's over three hundred square feet. Next is the dining room. It's big enough to put an eight-person table. On the right is the kitchen with a central island. The area is big. The countertop has been upgraded. Let's have another look from this angle at the living room and the entrance. Let's take a look at the backyard. It looks really nice. The interlocking is already installed, and there is a small garden in the back. It seems like the exposure is north to south because the sun is coming from the side. This backyard is really pretty.、Uh, for a semi-detached, this backyard stands out because it is deep, and the distance with our neighbor is far, so we can have our own privacy. Let's have a last look at the kitchen. We'll continue to the second floor, the bedroom area. I'll start on my left. It's about 110 square feet. It's facing the front yard. There is a closet. The next bedroom is also facing the front yard. It's slightly smaller, about a hundred square feet. There is a walk-in closet. We still have some space to put a dresser. This house is big. We have a room facing the side of the house. It's about ninety square feet. Opposite to this study, there is a common washroom. The countertop has not been upgraded yet, but the washroom is big. Last is the master bedroom facing the backyard. Walk-in closet on the left. Ensuite washroom on the right. There is a window. No upgrades to the countertop. A jacuzzi bathtub that was really fashioned a few years ago. A separate shower. It's not modern, but it's big, very well maintained, and very clean. The master bedroom is about two hundred thirty square feet.
と会いたいな、嬉しいな、あこの時多分ですよと。This room is facing the backyard. We can see the distance with the neighbors. This is the powder room of the first floor. It has a window and the ceiling is very high. It's over nine feet tall. It adds some value to the property. Let's look at the basement. This basement is not finished. We see the insulation on the walls. There's a gym corner. Although it's not finished, the area is quite big. It's very clean and organized. We can use it as it is. This is the end of today's video. If you are interested in any property type, neighborhood, or price range, please feel welcome to talk to me. I'll be more than happy to arrange showings or take virtual tour videos for you. My service is 100% free. See you in next video.